Today I want to talk about something that kind of broke the internet or TikTok uh, a few weeks ago and it's about this new AI generate fill in Adobe Photoshop in the beta version. What if we can use that for video? There's other ways or techniques on doing this but I thought like it, this is probably going to be the easiest and most um, faster solution. For an example, I'm not really moving my left arm and that's for one reason. Um, now you're probably wondering the audio. The audio is probably coming from above, shotgun mic coming down because you don't see the microphone. But realistically, it's right here. Um, so now I did this by taking a screen grab of my image uh, and then brought that into the Photoshop beta version and then I highlighted this whole side of my image that I did generate fill, remove mic. It basically makes it look like there is no microphone in my shot. This is only really gonna work if you are on a static shot. Um, now, if you are shooting like the clouds or trees or something like that and there's something in front, it's not gonna work because the trees or uh, clouds are moving. So it's gonna look a little weird. Um, so this technique will kind of only work for static stuff, something like this, or there's actually another shot that I'm gonna try and do. Um, the talent was walking up the stairs and you can see all my boom mics and stands in the shot. So we're gonna try and um, remove that from the shot and see how it works. Okay, so we're gonna go to my hard drive. We're gonna go to our shoot that we did, which Jen, no, I don't know which shot it is. So I'm just gonna bring them all in. Now these are red files that we're working with. Um, yeah. So they were clearly going up the stairs. So we're gonna just bring this video in. I'm gonna show you that they're going up the stairs. So this is what I want to remove over here on the bottom right. What we have to do first is um, apply a grade. You can just go with a regular Komodo to Alexa. Uh, okay, so that's perfect the way it is. Um, now we're going to go into color management or sorry, we're gonna scale this entire image to, so it fits. So that's what we need. So like I said, this is only gonna work with the static shot. As you can see, it's on a tripod, not moving. And we're gonna try and remove this. Um, so what we have to do is grab still, go to gallery, export this, name it as whatever. I just tend to put blah, 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 um, export. Um, so now we're gonna open up the Photoshop beta. We're gonna remove myself. We're going to find that image now, uh, which was right here. Drag and drop, perfect. Now this is where you have the select object or remove background. So now this is a different little option, but we're just gonna highlight this. Okay, and then we're gonna go to generate fill and we're gonna put remove. So now we see this loading, we're gonna see how good it works. Depending on what you're doing, it might take some time or depending on the processor that your computer has or how fast your computer is in general, this can take uh, some time. Um, this, this took 10 seconds. Now, as you can tell, that looks perfect to me. Um, now you're not gonna notice. I don't even know if you will notice. Uh, I can't notice even though I just did it. So if we go back, that's what it looked like before. And then we're gonna go to redo. It's almost like they were never never there. So now we're gonna go over here, file, um, export, save for web for the highest JPEG. Uh, you can save this as any other file, whatever file works for you to edit in whatever editing platform. Um, JPEG works for me. Um, so now, now I'm going to go to edit of Jen. I just made a name there. Um, so now we're going to go back into DaVinci. So now we're going to go back and get our photo that we just did. So now it's clearly a photo, right? So now we're going to go over here, color. Add alpha output, drag that there, grab this. Now, basically the only thing that we're gonna be using is this piece right here. You can soften it however way you like to make it look 
more realistic and then you can even do the inside um, we're gonna keep it like that so now when we go here we're basically only using that piece of the image so now when we play this back it looks perfect now if you have shadows coming down here you will notice the difference so one thing is you want you just want to make sure of your lighting that it's it's good and uh, you're not gonna have anything making it look a little awkward and then when we remove our see how it ends right there we see the lights or the um, the stands and the uh, boom mics if we go back one frame it's gone and that is basically how you can use AI to fix your video.